is on Bulbasaur Lover with finally part two of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. We're going to be, I guess, first off getting this cannon. I'm not going to cut it out just because I'm just going to run through it this time. This is required. This needs Yoshi. Whoa. I think I could do that. I will be getting every single fruit I see though. No! My egg fell down the hole. Now what you want to do is get up here onto this ledge and flee, and then just run for your life! No. The Air Force is coming! Now just flutter jump for a one up, and secret exit flags are red. Yoshi! Yoshi looks so happy when Mario leaves. It kind of yeah. makes me feel sad. And then you get the cannon. That cannon goes to World 5, but I'm not going to go in it. <laughs> Ice Flower is actually required in this level. I think, maybe, now if you spray the fish with ice, they don't, they just kind of float to the top and then you can stand on them, but that's pretty much it. Now like, some of the star coins in here require the frozen fish, so that's why I say it's required. I mean, I'm not always go don't die Mario now swimming controls are the same you move move around but these fish they swim away from you so they're scary fish yes. but the controls are two you swim and then left and right but oh, careful of these they don't stay up but if they go all the way to the top by some reason, they'll give you a bunch of coins, unlike other fish will only give you one coin. See, like, here's an example of how you need to use the ice flower. You don't have to actually use the fish, you can just go get it. But the fish makes it easier. Go in the clams, and they'll eat you and hurt you. Now, line it up. And nope. Okay. I can do it. Just a bit farther. Yeah, I did it. Okay, four minutes into the video. Oh. You can also go on top, but I think the way I dig it is much easier. Tricky section here. You have to wait for the clam to open and swim through it. And now here, shoot it there. So it will go down and stop the bubbles. You can go down the pipe if you want to. It's not, no, I'm, I'm sure it's not, I'm pretty sure it's not required. Not 100%. Now these fish actually follow you. So beware of that. It's really scary if you like do terrible in that level and then you like. Now there's two ways to easily get this. Just jump on the Koopa or do that but it when it's higher. <laughs> I still got it luckily though. There's always a simple way to get one up in this. Sorry I was close to the camera at that. That might sound a little weird. Yeah. I should. Now those little Goomba thingies. 
there's different ones in every world depending on the world. Come here. You stupid thing. Okay. Now, this is a, another way to rescue toads. What you have to do is, well, first off, run into them. But then, the number of Goombas can change. But then you just have to collect eight balloons, but it the way it's set up or the enemy will be different. And then, what if you do that without dying, the toad will give you three mushrooms. And you only have a minute for that level, so it worked kind of fast. I won't show you that mushroom house, I probably will only go to them when I like need them. No, I love this level. I love every mushroom level. But this is... This is a pretty difficult level because of these turny things. I don't know, blocks. The power cap, highly recommended. Now, duck and cover! Now climb up that rope by pushing up. Oh, this is an easy star coin, especially with the propeller cap. So simple. Just kidding. For ex since I have extra time, I'm actually going to get every coin in this level. Now what you want to do is actually is if you have that, I'm pretty sure you could just go in there, but. Jump on the block and jump in to death. Nope, you just come here. If you get a bunch of... Never mind. I'll explain that in multiplayer. Whoa, I actually grabbed that? Oh, hey, I actually got it. I wasn't... I mean, there's an easier way. You just stand on that block, but then quickly go in. Now jump on these and shake, and it changes them for a short period of time, but this one you actually have to do for the star coin, or for the, I guess this, and I'm ready. Now go down. Oh, I actually did that. Uh huh, you did. I'm pretty sure I explained checkpoint flag. If you die, you just go to the checkpoint flag. I don't think I did though. Oh, supposed to stay. It's easier just to stay standing on this because it goes right past every single one. But then, what's up here? I never even knew this was up here. I feel stupid now. I'm, I'm, I'm the block suit person. I'm supposed to know everything. I need to get some kind of video editing program. I just use, like, cut out video for I use YouTube video editor. Sorry about the last episode being cut off. I started the new video, but then I forgot that I already had like two minutes of video. So I could only upload the one part. But you didn't miss much. If you think you missed something, go back to the first episode. And if you don't, I know where you live. Probably shouldn't say that, but who cares? Run, careful. Fire flower is very recommended because there's sometimes like enemies on these. Now if you spin by a flower, coins fall out. Uh oh. Don't kill it. Um, I think I have to go up there. And that, you just experienced, is a death. And just to let you know, um, that's the world screen. Push minus, and you have all the worlds here, but I can't select anything because I only have one world. But, if you're small when you get to the flagpole, 
when you touch a flagpole, you'll get like a random mushroom that's not even there. But you go into this form, uh, Super Mario. Now, grab the fire flower, and this time without dying, go into here and go down the pipe. Now, this is pretty difficult because this thing moves pretty fast. Plus, there's Goombas falling. That sucked. Now, I think I come out. Yep, I just come out right before the flagpole here. Then just go. Oh, no. I don't want to die in two episodes. Okay. Okay, now this is fun. Wait, am I already at the castle? This level went fast. Yeah. I personally think the tower's harder than this, so don't worry. And if you see that giant Goomba comes back, like, then there'll be like medium sized Goombas and when you jump on the me- there's gonna be four and then when you jump on the medium ones they spawn out two mini ones. But then after that one you get two giant ones and each one pawns two medium and then those spawn two things when you j jump on them. I'll do a mushroom. It's funny, on the world selection screen, it's like the worlds are just floating there. Now this is careful, touch lava, instant death. Ice flower, very helpful. Oops. No, you can't protect yourself from lava just because you're made of ice particles. And don't get squished between the two things, because instant death. Actually, slow guess, but I'm just going to call it instant. Die! Whoa, that went farther than I thought. I don't think you could really die in the lava there, unless you like, really tried to. Here's the trick. Jump, and there's a coin block, and it can't break that. How come ice doesn't hurt the swamp? They fall when you get close. The big ones destroy those things, but they're bigger, so they can't get as far. And those little spiky things, I don't know what's the point of those. Is. They can't even hurt you. I'm a little angry at GameStop right now. Today I went to get a Pokemon Rumble Blast, because it said it was coming out today, and there was like... Now this is actually really hard. Um, and there was like, um, and there was even a sign there that says available now, Pokemon Rumble Blast, and even it says on GameStop.com and Nintendo.com it comes out today, and they said, nope, it doesn't come out until Wednesday, and I called all the other GameStops, and they said, Tuesday, or it comes out Wednesday, but you might not be able to get it until Sunday, and so confusing, so I just pre-ordered one. But I'm angry. They even had a sign that says available now. How does that not mean it's going to be here a few more days? Hoping that thing YouTube sent me ha that I have a limited time is true. Because I'm in 14 minutes into the video. Now this is hard. You need to know how wall jump for this. Push the button, wall jump. I want that last coin, but you have a limited time because then that turns back into coins, so it's kind of, hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm looking forward to Super Mario 3D Land, but I'm probably looking more forward to Mario Kart 7 for the CDS. Oh wait, this is an easy boss. Especially, oh no, wait. I'm thinking of New Super Mario Bros. But this this boss fails at life. I'll show you why. Well, first off, Magic Koopa Powder. Now, 
Now what? It gets stuck between these things, and that's why it fails at life. Dang it. Uh oh. Good. Dang it. Come on, survive Mario. Oh my gosh. If you wait too long to hit them, they'll start shooting that, like, magic stuff from their wand. And when you defeat big bosses, you get a key, as you can see, because I'm holding a key that I grabbed with my hand. That doesn't run. Who cares? I grabbed it with my pinky. There we go. Bowser Jr., give me back the princess. Whoa, that's a big ship. How did they fit a cake on there? But, I mean, that cake was even bigger. How could they fit a cake on there? Now, the ship flies away. Why doesn't Mario just jump onto the ship? He can, like, jump far. Like, sometimes you beat the bosses with propeller caps. Why doesn't he just propeller onto the ship? Don't worry, we'll get to fight stuff on the ship. But, this is World 2, the desert world. What? Save. What? Now, see? They're just floating islands, and somehow he's able to get to each one. But, yep. Until next time.